Hello and welcome to Straight Talk with me, Sifiso Matlang. We are two days away from the vote of no confidence debate against President Jacob Zuma. And what a time it intends to be in this country. We live in a global sphere and a uh, global political diaphragm. And whether Ms. Balegambeta will grant it a secret ballot or not, we don't know. But I'm sitting next to Mr. Tando Dojeni, who's done a lot of work with Parliament inside and outside the National Assembly. And tonight he's going to give us the straight talk on which way it's most likely to go. This is Straight Talk live on ANN7, channel 405 on DSTV. Mr. Dojeni, I welcome you to the show. Thank, thanks, Mr. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for I'm coming. Good. Thanks for welcoming. Yeah, you had to come in uh, all the way from Cape Town, and I understand uh, yes. Cape Town is very <laughs> robust in this weekend. Yes, yes, very busy, Mr. Matlango. And and uh, I think I appreciate uh, appreciate the interaction which I've seen. Uh, the public is so interested to understand what is happening in Parliament. Remember, people who are in Parliament are elected by the people. Mm. They are there representing the interest of the people, not the individuals. Yes, That's yes. why people are so interested to know what mm. is going to happen in yeah. Parliament. And let's get and, straight to it then, yeah. for, for that matter. Uh, what do you think will need to inform the, the decision of Ms. Balegambet? I mean, I want to put it to you, I don't want to be in her shoes. <laughs> Uh, in this weekend, but what, what do you think will inform her decision? And which way is it likely to go? A vote of no confidence, secret ballot or not? No, to secret ballot. I don't think uh, Balagambete will allow that. Uh, remember, uh, I, I, there's a Kosa saying that says, Ikez mm. Me, meaning you cannot uh, uh, call the, invite the neighbors and say, come, let's discipline my child. And understand, mm. you, you can invite neighbors and say, like, come, let, let's discipline my child. Mm. That's what the ANC is trying to do now. The ANC cannot allow and, and will not allow uh, its members to vote against the president because it will be like you're calling the neighbors to come and discipline your own child. Mm. Uh, so uh, as for the secret ballot, I think it's a no. Balegambete uh, won't allow that to happen. Uh, she will try to, uh, to, to, to just use the old system that has been used because there is no problem with that. Mm -hmm. And I also believe that the, 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 the leaders which, which are there in parliament, the parliament members, uh, the, there is no need for, the, there is no threat on say, okay, if, if Tando Dojeni votes against the president in public, then he might be killed. No, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a decision of each and every person. As person who elected somebody in parliament, members in parliament are also elected by us as public. We need to know their stand. We need to know their view, mm -hmm. not secretly, but publicly, mm -hmm. because we elected them publicly. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've done a lot of work with uh, Parliament, and you often, you know, speak of the Constitution, uh, the the way the Constitution needs to be amended, where it is powerful, and uh, also you stress its weaknesses. Do you think that it is fair to Ms. Balegambet for the nation to expect her to decide as an individual whether it should be a secret ballot or not. Keeping in mind that Ms. Balegambete is the chairperson of the ANC. She's a member of the top six. Yes. So of course her allegiance is with the, the ANC. Isn't putting her in that position unfair? If people go to parliament on an ANC ticket, should it not just be law and gradual to say, we understand that they'll vote for the ANC and not have to put Ms. Balegambete in, in such a pressureful situation? Uh, and uh, okay. With regard to the constitution, I, I think for us as a nation, it's a learning curve. Uh, the constitution is supposed to be clear on that. We, 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 should, we, should, we shouldn't have to put Balegambete in that position where she's supposed to decide whether secret or not. The constitution is supposed to be clear. Uh, on, on, on whether it's a secret ballot or it's not a secret ballot. Mm -hmm. Because now, uh, uh, people, we are, we are so concerned about people who's going to, who are going to be voting against or in favor, whether it's supposed to be secret or not. But we are not concerned about this lady, Balegambete, who's supposed to take a decision, whether mm -hmm. secret or not. He, her, her life also can be in danger if he said secret or not secret, because everyone has got interest in this. Political parties have got interest in this issue, the public have, have got interest. But I, 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 I'm standing uh, on, 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 on the right hand side of Balegambet and, and, and supporting her. Say, 
take a right decision. Mm. Uh, we are interested in political stability. We are interested in peace in this country. Whatever decision that be, will, will, will be taken by Balagambete must favor the peace and stability of the country. But if she doesn't choose a secret ballot, she's going to be taken to court. We've had the EFF and the Democratic Alliance announce that. So if she goes secret, she goes to court. If she... Uh, you know, if she doesn't go secret, she goes to court. If she uh, ministers to a secret vote, then everyone is happy because there can be a, a lot of uh, moving of brown envelopes and, and that sort of thing. So it's almost like a democracy or a courtroom that is run through a court system. It's a democracy that uh, runs from the courtroom and particularly the high court in this nation. Are we likely to see that uh, this no confidence vote will end up in, in, in courtroom tomorrow before the announcement even on Tuesday. It, it, it will. It will, according to Musa Maimana's statement, it will go to court. And uh, I, I don't understand why, because the court made it clear that Balagambete must take decisions. Now, if, if the court says, if the con court says, Balagambete, take, take, take decision on this regard, and we, we, we say, no, 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 Balagambete, your decision is wrong, let us go to court again, mm -hmm. I don't think that it's fair for the parliament, it's fair for the speaker, and also fair for, fair for the public. Mm -hmm. I, I think the political parties must also think also for the public, not for themselves as political parties, mm -hmm. and what they want to achieve out of this. Mm -hmm. it, it's not about what they want to achieve, but it's also about the public and the country in going forward because we, we've been called uh, we, 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 our, our attention have been attracted in this uh, uh, vote of no confidence i think for the eighth time now mm. but the opposition parties are failing for the eighth time and i i don't know what is it else that they, that they want to achieve out of this let me so. let me look at the the these uh, vote of no confidence notions the the second one was in december 2012 uh, in September 2014, they called Mambete biased, and there was a, 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 a vote. Uh, President Zuma won that one. Uh, March in 2015, in what is called the Nkandla saga, um, there was also a vote in parliament. Uh, the Al Bashir case, because South Africa did not arrest Al Bashir. I don't imagine that South Africa is the police station of the world. There was yet again another motion, another motion. passed uh, when what is called the Nene Gate happened, another notion. Uh, November of 2016, what they called the state capture uh, vote. President Zuma won that one. Uh, in March this year, this uh, vote was attempted. What is going to make this particular vote different? No, it, 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 it won't make any different from the previous ones. There will be no different from the previous one. And uh, people are confused uh, because they listen too much with, uh, from, from the leaders uh, of the SACP, from the leaders of COSATU, or from the COSATU and SACP saying that no, our members will vote otherwise. Remember, in parliament, there are no COSATU members. There are no SACP members, only ANC members people who take mandate from the ANC caucus. Mm -hmm. So uh, th this thing, this issue of saying, no, we are worried about SACP members will vote against the president. There are no SAPC members. That, thing, that, that one need to be made clear. The caucus of the ANC made a decision and made pronouncement that no to a motion of no confidence, no to secret ballot. So I, I don't see any, any different uh, outcome from the previous, differ from the previous one on this matter of vote of no confidence. But the likes of, uh, you know, Pravin Gordon are, are members of SACP. Mr. Bladen Zimande is the SACP general secretary, and he's been calling for President Jacob Zuma to step down. So that will be a contradiction in my part. If at the SACP he says, President Zuma must step down, and then in Parliament he endorses President Zuma to stay. Uh, I think that might be a conflict of interest. Uh, he, he calls on President Zuma to step down as a member of the SACP, taking the mandate from the SACP. Now, in Parliament, he takes the mandate from the caucus, from the ANC. Now, I, I, don't, I don't see any disciplined cadre, any disciplined member of any party who will, who will go against the mandate of its own, its own party. I, I don't see that happening. But if it happens, we need to be worried as a nation because 
uh, we, we, we have seen the likes of Zuelin Zemavavi, the likes of Plain Zimande, the likes of Malema are regretting the decision they've taken in Polo Gwane. They say, no, we've made a mistake. Now, those mistakes won't be different with the mistake they will be doing in parliament if they mm -hmm. vote against uh, the, 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 the president, against the people who send them in parliament. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't see that happening. So, so that's is, why is the I, likelihood that Kosato will also have to vote with uh, uh, President Jacob Zuma, those members of Kosato who are still, uh, those few who are still in... Uh, in, in parliament, as in, with the SACP? In parliament, members of COSAT who are there representing the NC, members of SAP who are there representing the NC, they have no choice, Fiso. They, they, they don't have a choice there. They have to vote against the motion, mm -hmm. not in let, let me Let me motion. put this to you this way. What happens if an MP, uh, fully aware of the rules of parliament, having you know, sat in the caucus meetings, uh, Ms. Makosi Kozat goes in on Tuesday and says, right, I will vote. And then she votes President Jacob Zuma out, or she does not vote in favor of President Jacob Zuma. Um, what can the ANC do in that position? I, I think Figele Mbalula made it clear that whoever vote against, uh, I mean, whoever vote in favor of, of, of the motion, is, uh, he or she is actually taking a suicide. You are expelling yourself from any organization. I, I believe even uh, a, a Democratic Alliance did that in, 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 in one of the municipality um, in Mohale City. City. Mm. They, they suspended their members mm. because of this, uh, because of, uh, of the decision which was taken by the caucus of DA, mm. and the members came, uh, went to went, 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 went to the legislature to take a different decision, mm. and those members were expelled. I mean, were, 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 were disciplined mm. by. The, the Democratic Alliance. I, I don't know why is, is, it, is it supposed to be something for rain now when the ANC is taking the very same decision. It's, it's, a, it's a political issue which is supposed to be handled politically, mm -hmm. not in court. Mm -hmm. uh, it's unfortunate that in everything that happens in Parliament, we are, we are running. We are, Maybe we are running then, Mr. Dojeni, there's something wrong with the constitution that you guys approved <laughs> and the very constitution that you always endorse. You know, uh, remember when we spoke at the, the State of the Nation address and you're telling me all about, you know, the, the goodness and the greatness of this, this constitution. How long shall this continue for? Because this vote of no confidence is allowed by, by the constitution. So are they going to have a vote of no confidence every month? Is, is, is South Africa's attention going to be drawn away from issues like poverty and unemployment? Is Parliament's sole responsibility in this country going to be on President Jacob Zuma? Then maybe there's something wrong with this constitution. Uh, my view is so there's nothing wrong with the constitution, but there's everything wrong with the leadership. Uh, not the leadership in government, but the leadership in politics. Opposition and the ruling party. I think we've, we, 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 we've got, we, we've actually placed our hope in wrong people, because we expect the Democratic Alliance, the EFF, the ANC to do everything for us as public, as you are supposed to take a lead. Even those people, if, if, even if they are there, we are supposed to take a lead, and and you, we, we can't expect the Parliament to take every decision on our behalf. We can't expect the ANC to fight our backlogs. We can't expect the DA in parliament to fight our backlogs. But as, 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 as a public, as NGOs, we, we, we need to stand up and say, okay, this, no to this, mm -hmm. yes to this. Mm -hmm. And if uh, ma am amendments are required in, in terms of the constitution, we need to amend the constitution mm -hmm. so as to keep all these problems and all these delays, because now the parliament mm -hmm. is focusing mm -hmm. on vote of no confidence, on state capture discussion. There are real issues affecting our people. There's a poverty affecting our people. Uh, th there's a women abuse and child abuse affecting our people. But we're not discussing those things. But because we're focusing only on the issue of state capture, we're focusing. I I've been rece receiving in insults already <laughs> on, on my Facebook that I'm captured. Yes, I, I, of I, I, I don't know. Maybe I can also be voted out in this. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, perhaps you will be captured by the by the constitution. Yes, but Mr. Uh, Dojen, is there a, a significant threat to 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 MPs on Tuesday? Uh, I was just reading before this interview that uh, you know. 
security personnel has been deployed to, to the House of Parliament and uh, the parliamentary precinct is cordoned off uh, the, the white shirts, you know, the men in, in, in the white shirts, you and I remember them well, uh, have been tipped to, to be around. Uh, is there going to be a threat of, of violence, perhaps similar scenes to which South Africa saw at the State of the, the Nation address? You know, with the caliber of leadership we have in political parties, everything is possible, Swiso. You, 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 you can't expect stability while people are so adamant that the president must go out. Because if the president does not go out, if the, 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 the motion has been voted against uh, by members of parliament, we know the losers. They will always try to cause chaos so as to attract the attention of the nation as if they are doing something good. They are fighting to remove the president because it, it, it's a matter of uh, uh, the nation seeing us as political parties fighting so hard to remove this man mm. because this man is a problem. But in terms of upholding the constitution, because that's a responsibility of everybody in this country mm. to uphold, defend and respect the constitution. Now, how do we respect the constitution if we're fighting in parliament? How do we respect the constitution if, if and every now and then we go to, 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 to court yeah. and fight the battles which are supposed to be discussed and agreed upon in parliament? Uh, as for your question, when you say there is a threat, uh, I, I think the chaos might erupt in parliament if the, the motion is voted against. But if the, voted, if the motion is voted in favor, we know uh, members of parliament on the ANC side are, are most disciplined members. I haven't, I haven't seen anyone fighting from the ANC side in parliament. We, are, we, we know the culprit, the culprit in terms of fighting in parliament. But I, 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 hope, I hope members of parliament will be disciplined even if the motion is, is, in, is, an, is against or is in favor. But mostly, definitely, the motion will be against. Mm. Will be according, to, against. according to the constitution, um, if President Zuma is voted out on Tuesday, then Ms. Balegambete becomes the president for 30 days. Yeah, for, for, yeah, for, yeah. for 30 days. Um, is that a consideration that she might make to say, well, if I, if I could allow for a secret vote and this gentleman is voted out, I might see myself <laughs> in the presidency. I would, I would imagine that would be a very attractive uh, invitation for, for anyone who's got a presidential uh, ambitions. Is that a decision she might take with her own vested interest in mind? You know, since I've been following Balegambete's politics for a long time, uh, I, I don't think she can take that opportunity because that's a not, that, that, that is not an opportunity. It's actually an embarrassment to the nation. Mm -hmm. uh, she, can, she cannot place herself in that embar in embarrassment and say, let me remove my president so that I can get this opportunity because I, I'm also interested in being a president of the NC in December, come December. No, I, I don't think Balagambete can do that. She's the most disciplined member of the African National Congress, as, as, you, have, as, as, as you have been following also as, 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 as a journalist. That Balagambete have never made any statement in contrary to the policies and the decision made by the NC. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think... He, she can take that, that, that uh, opportunity, mm. which is an embarrassment to the nation. Yeah. I, the I the spokesperson of the SACP, Mr. Alex Mashiro, said to me that the reason they are not supporting particularly this vote of no confidence is that it's not to remove President Jacob Zuma, but it is to remove the ANC. So this is a regime change agenda. And he was very vocal to say the SACP still agrees that uh, President Jacob Zuma should step down, but they will not play into the hands of the, the opposition in removing President Jacob Zuma. Is the real enemy here the economy or the ANC? Is President Zuma just used as a cover-up or a scapegoat? Because what people really want is to get their hands on the South African economy. Is the real attraction here uh, regime change and not President Jacob Zuma? Okay, L let me take, take you back to Polokwana's uh, Fiso. We've got Malema who supported Jacob Zuma, the president. We've got uh, Zolinzi Mavavi who supported Jacob Zuma. We've got Matthew Sposa and the other guys. They supported Jacob Zuma. Uh, in the process of, of, of governing the country, they pulled out and, and, and they changed their tone, their tune. 
in terms of supporting Jacob Zuma. And my, my, my question was that, were they supporting Jacob Zuma genuinely because they wanted to advance the agenda of the country, or they supported Jacob Zuma because they wanted to lay their hands on something, and that thing was taken away from them. That's why they're turning against the president. That, that's a question the nation need to ask itself. Now, uh, the issue of the regime change, it's not a matter of saving the country. I've seen some organizations save South Africa. It's not a matter of saving the country, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a matter of individuals ac accessing something that is far away from them. Jacob Zuma is actually a, a, a barrier in what they're supposed to get, in what they, they, they prefer as theirs, in what they think they, they've got, they are entitled uh, to. So uh, as for the president, to be removed won't solve any problem in this country. Mm -hmm. as, to, as for the ANC to be removed won't solve any problem. Actually, we'll be creating more problems. We'll be creating instability. There will be no peace in this country. Mr. And that's what we need to focus to, peace mm -hmm. and stability of the Mr. country. Mr. Musi Maimane takes a lot of documents that apparently have been signed by over one million people. And he takes them to the desktop of, de desktop of parliament. And he says, these are for Deputy President Ramaphosa. And he says to him, do the right thing. A racial incident happens in, in Pretoria. A black couple is beaten up by six white people. Uh, we don't hear anything about that. Dumi Masilela is gunned down. No one of the DA or the, the white community says we are sorry. No one says let's take decisive action against this. No one says this is enough. But the attention focuses and refocuses on uh, President Jacob Zuma. Do you think the challenges of this country are meaningless to some? And if this uh, vote of no confidence goes through, as you say, we'll have more challenges because the black man is still under threat. Is that what we are seeing today? Yes. Uh we, we need to agree on something as a nation's face. So our, our country is still racially divided. We are still tribally divided. Uh, I, I've seen the KFC uh, incident. Mm -hmm. I, I, haven't seen, I haven't heard or seen any white person condemning that. We have seen the Coffin ex incident. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any white person picketing outside the court in support of the victim understand what I'm saying. Now, we, we've got parliament there preparing to vote the president which has been democratically, democratically elect, elected by the people. They want to remove it. White people will be there tomorrow. A lot of them will be there picketing outside the parliament. So now, the agenda, the agenda to remove the president is not to advance the agenda enshrining the constitution which is to, up, to, 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 uh, to uplift and to ensure the democracy for everyone in this country. So you're it, saying white people are going to be outside parliament tomorrow? De definitely. De a lot of them. Definitely they will be there. Grannies, white grains will be there. Uh, white grandpas will be there. And you, you will ask yourself, if these guys are so interested in, uh, and, and uh, have got so energy to remove the president, where were, they, where were these guys during apartheid? Because we were oppressed by, 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 by the white minority. They were not there. None of them called for the removal of their presidents. Today, they are calling for the removal of President Jacob Zuma. L maybe let's argue for, uh, uh, let's argue for ar argument's sake and say Jacob Zuma is corrupt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for arguments, say that Jacob Zuma is corrupt. We removed uh, President Jacob Zuma. Still, the problem with white people in this country is not Jacob Zuma, but is the ANC. Mm -hmm. It has been the ANC since uh, the inception of the demo, uh, of the apartheid mm -hmm. of the apartheid regime. It, it, the ANC has been a problem since then. Mm -hmm. Now, it, it can't be a lovey dovey because it's democracy. They, they will always hate the, hate the ANC because the problem uh, with our society, we are an angry society. We've got the hatred. And you, you can't take proper decisions if you are angry. Mm. White people have been accepted that we are in a democratic society. We need to live along one another. They, they, they don't want to accept that. That's why the incident happened in KFC, because mm. they don't believe to be on the same chew, uh, same chew with black people. Mm. They want to create their own chews, and black people must be on their own chews. Mm. But unfortunately, other blacks, they don't see that.
they see this as an opportunity to rectify the problems, their problems. Because I, 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 I had a conversation with that guy. One guy one day said to me, you know what, uh, Jacob Zuma is actually destroying our, our economy. The rand is falling. I, I, I check with this guy. Do you have a bank account? To find out this guy doesn't have even a bank account. Now, whose rand is falling? Mm. <laughs> you, you, you understand? Yes, you, you, you can see this person doesn't, have, doesn't, doesn't even have a clue of the economy of the country. But he's against the person who's trying by all means. I mean the party which is trying by all means to remedy the, the, the problem which was created by the white, white regime. No, we, 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 can't, we can't be subjected to mm -hmm. this. Jacob Zuma might have his fault. Yeah. The cabinet might have his, its problems. But we can't call neighbors and say, please, neighbors, come, let's discipline our, our children. No, we can't do that. Right, We've got our own house mm. to discipline our own children. We're it sadly out of that. time, Shagas. <laughs> we'll have a, yeah. a conversation on Tuesday, yeah. and I hope you can join me again to, to review the results of the, the vote of no Def Def Day. Definitely, though I'm, 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 I'm aware. How is it going to happen? Okay. It will be against. I oh, know that. All right. <laughs> yeah, we'll speak soon. Thank you for coming. Okay, thank you so right, much. Thank you. And that was uh, Mr. Tanjo Tochen, who came all the way from Cape Town to come and talk to us on the vote of no confidence debate. That will be happening in less than 48 hours' time. I'm Sifiso Matlangu. This has been a straight talk live interview only on NN7, channel 405, every Sunday, 7 p.m. Pray for South Africa. It's been straight.